everybody, my name is Sabora Mirzodi, and today I'm going to talk about the new NVIDIA encoder in Premiere Pro. Now, if you don't know what Premiere Pro is, it's the world's most popular editing application, and it's definitely part of my day-to-day -day workflow uh, for both large and small projects. And sometimes when I get a project, I need to do multiple different edits. And encoding time, when we export those clips, sometimes starts to add up really quick. Now, NVIDIA has worked closely with Adobe to integrate hardware accelerated encoding into Premiere Pro, which is included in the newest May 2020 update. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take advantage of the NVIDIA encoder to export videos and even show you a few GPU accelerated effects along the way. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is now that our sequence is loaded, we're gonna to go to File, Project Settings, General, and then under the renderer, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration CUDA is enabled. Now, the alternative is software only, and that's when we're not using the GPU at all. So it's important that we have that checked. So now that we have GPU acceleration enabled, we can start to have a little bit of fun with each one of our sequences. So I'm gonna dive in and kind of show you what I'm talking about. My first sequence has no effects whatsoever. And our second one has about four different effects stacked on top of each other that are all GPU accelerated. So I can go ahead and press play and it's gonna play back nice and smooth. And our third sequence is pretty effects heavy. We have about seven different layers with uh, overlay modes and a bunch of fun grain effects and whatnot. Uh, again, that's all playing nice and smooth. And then our last and final sequence is a completely alternative version of the cut. So you can see I have all my effects sequences loaded up and I can click and take one of the other clips or angles from our multicam sequence. And then when I press stop, you can see all my, cut, my cuts are done. So we have everything dialed in and now it's time to export. For our purposes, we wanna export multiple clips. So I'm gonna select all of them, right click, go to export media. And then you're gonna see our H.264 format is up here. And then our performance hardware encoding is selected. And then we're gonna click on Q. Now what that's gonna do is gonna prepare each one of our sequences and it's gonna send it out to Media Encoder. Now I'll give you a quick explanation of how NVIDIA Encoder works. So before Premiere Pro supported hardware encoding, this last step was only performed by the CPU. The way it works is when you bring in a source clip, our CPU decodes that clip to a format that Premiere Pro can understand. Once it does that, our Mercury playback engine with CUDA acceleration can actually uh, accelerate the whole timeline and all our effects that we're applying are all playing back real time, which is great. All of that is great. But then at the end of the day, again, when we export, it's back to the CPU and that was our bottleneck. With NVIDIA encoder, that is now accelerated. That last step is accelerated. So just to kind of put it in perspective, you can see that I'm exporting this with software encoding. And within software encoding, when I was outputting these clips before, it would take me 19 minutes to finish these four clips. And I'd have to be waiting around for those clips to export. Uh, now with NVIDIA Encoder, I'm able to export all of the clips in three minutes total, which allows me to get these clips to my client faster, breathe a bit more, and go home to see my family at the end of the day. Now it's advancements like these that make my life in production much more streamlined and allows me to be focused on more of the creative. The new update's been released. Thank you for uh, hanging in with me and have fun with Media Encoder. Hopefully it saves you a little bit of time.